Oh, hello, my dear. Welcome to my place where you can find herbs and elixirs. What do you need today? A potion to help you sleep better? Or perhaps something to boost your energy? You don't really know. Let me hear your story. Oh, depression. No sense of direction. Don't be afraid. Those things are quite common those days. Let me tell you something. You might want to welcome any tears or sensation of emptiness first. I know it's not easy, but it's part of the process of death and rebirth. Letting go of the old to welcome the new. Releasing yourself from what no longer serves you and from what prevents your expansion. Expansion? You don't know what it means? Sorry, that's my witchy jargon. Expansion simply means growth. As time goes by, our goals change. Some of our relationships might fall apart. And our sense of identity might even crumple, leaving us feel empty inside. That's a sign that we need to part ways with what was once meaningful to us in order to find meaning again. Now, I might have something you're looking for. Here's an elixir of citrine. It can help you find a bit of light and optimism in this time of change. Two drops a day and you'll see it will make you feel it will make you feel better and don't be afraid because there's always light at the end of the tunnel my pleasure Oh yeah, moonstones, moonstones, they're here. You can just grab them. They are amazing, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. Are you looking for something? A potion to find your life purpose. Mm, well, actually, a North Star enchantment would work better. Here is a compass, right? For now, it points to the North Pole of the Earth. But with a bit of magic, it will start pointing to your North Star, aka your purpose in life. Now, let's awaken its magic. May I ask you for your date of birth? All right, thank you. Birth, please. Thanks. Okay. So now I will enchant them. The spell and the compass. So now, just think about what you want, 
And if you don't know, it doesn't matter. Just think about the thing that brings you joy. The compass is not enchanted and it worked for you. Meaning that the only thing you need to do is to follow the needle that shows you north. It will take you to the places, people and elements related to your purpose. However, don't expect it to bring you straight to a professional calling. The compass will take you to all the little things that brings you joy. And your joy will lead you to your purpose. So maybe it won't make sense at first, but you can trust it. Who knows, maybe your life purpose involves something that doesn't exist yet. And you might be the one who will bring it to life. That's for you. I'll be very happy to know what you will discover about that compass. Oh, the golden flowers. Yes, they're all of them. They're actually waiting for you. Yeah, they talk to me about your desire to acquire some of them. Oh, Miss Redhead. So nice to see you again. I really do love chatting with you. Yes. And your dragon, still nice? Still fine? Very well? Oh. I love dragons too. I wouldn't own one because, you know, I would be scared that it would just burn everything. Burst everything into flames. I would not like it. Yeah, do you think we get used to it? I'm not sure about this, but... Probably, yeah. Yes, I've just made a North Star enchantment. That lady over there wanted to know about her life purpose. It's very simple. You just need to find a compass and infuse it with magic. And then it would lead them to, it would lead them, sorry, to their purpose. No. A purpose in life can just be something simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be something as simple as being a mother, having a pet, or starting something very big, like a venture or like an adventure. There's not such thing as big or small for the universe. We human beings make it like Fantastic or not, but everything, even the little things, are really, really exciting and fantastic. If you need a North Star enchantment, you can let me know and I can make one for you. Oh, sure, yeah. I will just need your birth date and your birthplace. I can also make peaceful enchantments, of course. Everything is possible. Do you want one? Or you prefer potion? Yeah, no problem. 
Yes, I made it this morning, so it's already prepared. You can have it. I'm still writing. I love writing. Maybe it's my purpose in life, right? Or oh, anything, you know, recipes, ideas, inspiration, even sometimes I draw. Yeah. That helps me concentrate and that helps me find new potions for my shop. Yes. Those flowers are amazing. They are. Yes, I have a new crystal. It's an amethyst. Um, it's helping me now to see into realms. Um, how does it work? Well, it just relaxes the mind and helps you enter some different dimensions. It's really, really helpful. If you want one, you can have one I have plenty on my other shelf, you know, my assistant will be very happy to help you find the best stone for you. Yeah, I need an assistant now because my shop is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's amazing, yeah. I don't mind if you come to my shop every single day to just have a conversation with me. I don't need you to buy anything. I enjoy our conversations, of course. Uh, that's very powerful you know that if you actually put too much of these you can actually turn something um, into poison so never do this never do this hmm. oh hello a new customer I'm always happy to find someone new how are you doing today Fine, lovely. Do you need anything? Or do you need any help? No, you just want to look. Well, have a look then. You need to make yourself at home. That's a home for everyone who is inspired by magic. Yes, we make enchantments, spells, potions, anything. That is linked to magic, of course. We don't have bread, though. So you might want to go to the bakery next door. Oh, magic bread. Well, I'm not a very good cook, to be honest. So I try not to cook. I make potions. This is what I'm good at. But don't ask me to make you a meal. That will be a disaster. Yeah, trust me. I guess we can't be talented for everything. Yeah. That's what excellence are. Excellence is actually the talent you're built for. And everybody has a talent for something. You just need to find it. How? Experiment things. One day I experiment I've experimented cooking, didn't go so well. So then I tried something else, potions, and suddenly I fell in love with them and I was like, I want to do this for the rest of my life. See? Um, it's just about finding what makes you happy. But you cannot find it if you don't try, obviously. Some people are just wasting their time reading so many books. I'm not saying that reading is a waste of time, but they're reading so many books, they're not even like go out and try things. You cannot know what you want unless you try, unless you take action. That's what the physical life and dimension is all about, right? 
This is actually to stay on the safe side of life. Never try because you're afraid to make a mistake or you're afraid to, I guess, that something wrong will happen. But life is an experiment, is a piece of art that cannot be foreseen or created before you take the brush and paint. So we might just experiment and do and see what happens. It's fun actually. Yeah, be flexible. Right, now let's talk about the next potion. I know you want a potion. Well, let me tell you something. A potion is just here to boost what you already have inside of you. It will never replace it. No potion spells or magical item can replace what you already have inside of you. It will just enhance it. You are a powerful creator. Actually, you might not even need those tools. No. Because you already have everything inside of you. However, life is so much fun when you use tools, right? Of course there are. I love my potions and spells. Yet I know that the magic is coming through me and the people are just adding their own. This is what makes the potion very powerful. Indeed. And they also smell very, very nice. Mm. Yeah. Smells are actually very inspiring. Lavender. Mm. A pleasure. Oopsie. Almost dropped it. Herbal tea? Yes, yes, of course. It's just... Can you see the little white box here? Yeah, it's just next to it. Sure. for a little bit of cleaning because I can feel that we need a little bit of higher vibes here mm, the energy is quite tense, yeah oh hi yes, it's some sage it's perfect to clean the space. Yeah, obviously it will raise any frequency or vibration. Again, you need to put your intention. The plant is here, but your intention is everything. Oh, I always have some sage with me, always. And I 
really do love it. It smells wonderful. It makes a lot of smokes though, so if you don't really like smoke, then maybe use Palo Santo instead. Hmm. Right. So now my shop is very, very full of smoke. I should ask my aunt for an anti-fire potion. She's very, very good with it. Yeah. Why well, just put a fire instantly? You don't need to do anything else. Yeah. She's very good with potions like that. Yes, I do have members of my family who are also witches and wit wizards. Some of them are not interested in witchcraft. It's all good because they are very good at other things, you see. you need another potion to sleep better? Yes, of course I got one. Mm, well, actually, it's not really ready. Can you wait until tomorrow? Because he needs to bath in the moonlight tonight. Yes, it will actually be better. Yes, more efficient, definitely. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot that you love my potions. If I can help, then I'll be very happy. Indeed, the sage made something wonderful for the place, right? You can feel the energy raising a little bit. Amazing, yes. Mm -hmm. open tomorrow we can always come back sure mm. oh mr. brown I have your potion here yes it's been a pleasure to make it really no no you don't have to you know, just Two drops is perfect. You don't have to take too much. No, no. That is gonna make your hair shine like nothing else. Yes. You're welcome. Yes, you need a potion? Yeah, I can make it. Tomorrow, um, lunar eclipse potion, I think we will need like a month to be honest. Mm, I know that potion takes quite a lot of time, unfortunately. 
Can I take your name? All right. Two bottles? Okay. Do you need some extra ginger in it? No, okay. Hibiscus? Okay. It's a good plant, right? It's a jargon between us, a Halloween doesn't mean anything. It's Halloween and Samhain. I know, it's just a joke between witches. Yeah, I'm preparing this magic pumpkin because it will be, you know, the symbol of letting go of the old to welcome the new. This is what Samhain is. Yes, the end of a cycle. So I'm infusing this pumpkin with some energy that is going to release some heavy energies because it's been a tough year, yeah, for everyone. So that pumpkin will bring light where darkness is still walking onto that path, yes. But even if a little bit heavy till the time wants to have fun which is not hard to have fun yes they do <laughs> because happiness is all about the little things yeah obviously enjoying the little things seeing the beauty the inspiration the wonder in the simple things this is the real purpose of life we human beings are making things way complicated. We're not very good at finding joy in the little things, you know. But we're learning. I have hope. We're learning. Obviously, which is also not very good at finding the little magic sometimes. Yeah, they do have their moments. But we have each other to remind ourselves of the beauty and the magic in our everyday life. Yes. Oh, it was a pleasure to have a conversation with you. As always, you can come back anytime you want. Yes. 